format, I, I use that space a little bit, but uh, mostly Holy man, John! I can't believe I can't believe how much work you have laying around here. Uh, Holy mackerel! I like to hang in this room because I'm on my computer here. Wow! Holy mackerel! So I like so lately. I still work small like this. Yeah. But I've been working big too. Well, you got the space here to do it. Yeah. Wow, this is really cool. Wow. Very cool, John. Yeah. Paces, huh? So this is, uh, so I'm here, for those of you that don't know, I'm here with John Sarkin. Famous. Would you say famous? You're kind of famous now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your call, Joe. Yeah, I'm, I'm like... calling it out famous. Okay. I mean, well. Let me ask you a question. Uh, what, how would you, what, what's your definition of famous? And I'll well, see if I... Well, this is what I would say. I would say, from what I've read and what I understand, there are famous people that, in L.A. and stuff, that really, like, love your stuff and just can't get enough of your stuff. You've been... Featured in and and helped with the famous. Oh, uh, uh, you're right. Gusters. You're right. If, if the, it, it, I'm on a little bit bigger map than just Gloucester. Like, uh, like some people are are well known within Gloucester. Mm -hmm. But if you go to Manchester, who? Right. But everybody knows there's certain people. If you put people on the front page of the paper in Gloucester. Everybody in Gloucester knows these people, yeah. but you go over the bridge, go to Manchester. That's it. Yeah, that's where the boundary kind of ends. So I, you've developed this. I've gone over the bridge. You've gone over the bridge, exactly, yeah, in a big way, in a big way. And uh, your 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 relationship. I'm show you. Show you. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm listening. Well, yeah, your relationship with with the boys at Bait and Tackle and and uh, you know Chad Kalberg yeah, and and, yeah, and yeah. Emil. Has led to really big things. Um, yeah, I mean, like, uh, I did this cover for this band and I did the video. Chad's been a very good friend. Mm hmm. So. Uh, How did you guys meet? What? How did you and Chad uh, meet? Chad used to go out with his car, Shauna. And Shauna's the niece of. My wife's dad used to be married to uh, her aunt. Okay, so, so that's how I met you. So that's how you so, met you. So, so then I have this big space here, and I also have like I have all the storage stuff over here. Oh my God, that's an amazing amount of work. Just to get it all up here must have been something, huh? I didn't do it, but I got help. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. So John. So, uh, so we did the post production. We did the main stuff with the band over at Gordon College, but we did all the post production here. Uh, you know, all the stuff that you saw, like, like all those little, all the words and stuff were were done. Uh, this is the space that you used? Yeah, we used this. Uh, Chad, I built that rack right there so we could slide uh, big canvases on the rack and, uh, and uh, write words on the rack. I gotcha. Uh, so, so, uh, that was quite a process. These tables were out here. You saw those pictures where he kneels at the computer and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. The, so it was right here. That, and this is where we like, we painted like the uh, the curtains and stuff. This is why this table is all colored like that. The the red curtain, the red velvet curtains. Exactly. That's from, we painted them right from, there. From the Guster uh, video. And there's the drum riser for the uh, remember the color wheel. Oh yeah, yeah. This is it right here. That's it. Yeah. 
Jeez, on, I bet you like some like huge Guster fan would pay huge money for that right there. <laughs> um, I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> it's just sitting around. Our, 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 uh, our, we want to put the stuff, we want to auction the stuff off, you know. Cool. Yeah. So tell me something. Who are some of the famous people that have bought some of your, your works in the past? And how did they come to find your work? Because you're here in Gloucester. How did they? How did the people in L.A. discover John Sarkin and your work? What and happened was uh, um, I was I'm doing I was doing what I'm doing, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, and uh, a friend, uh, my wife's brother asked me to uh, send some stuff to a friend of his. His friend sent out a little newsletter about what I was doing. And this guy from the New York Times uh, got the newsletter and did a story about me. And I, uh, a friend of mine in New York was talking about it. The, uh, the conversation was overheard by somebody that worked at uh, GQ. The, the GQ did a story about me. Uh -huh. Tom Cruise with the story about GQ. And that's how it happened. And then boom, boom, boom. The, the chip started falling, the domino started falling. Right? And nothing like success to make more success, <laughs> that's, as you know. There you go. There you go. Yeah, because I read, I mean, there's a bunch Foster of. Boston football team wins a bunch of games in a row. They want to win another game. They want to win number 17. Yeah. That's like, okay, let's lose now. No, success. <laughs> Let's I mean, keep... everybody expects they got a successful program. Everybody ex expects that program to be successful next year. Yeah. They never let them down. Yeah. They've been good every year I've been here. Yeah. Same thing. So you want to just keep pushing? You want to push the boundaries of your yeah, art? You it's, want to like, just keep, yeah. uh, it's like if you pitch no hitter, you don't want to get shelled out the first <laughs> inning next time out. Yeah. You want to be on your game next time. Yeah. Yeah. You can never let up. That's what keeps driving you. 